Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see a problem binary search. Although it's a pretty easy, pretty standard problem. If you have already seen, still I'll recommend you to watch this video because in this video, I'm going to show you the standard technique to write the code of binary search such that you only have to think of the condition. That's it. How to write it specifically formatted. Okay, you have to write like this, like this, like this, and you just have to write the condition in place of if condition. That's it. It works on 99.99% of the problems. In just that 0.001%, you just have to dry run and modify that if else condition accordingly. That's it. If you go and look at any of my previous code of binary search, you will see exactly the same code I have mentioned everywhere. So yeah, in this video, it's an easy problem. So I just thought, why not to show that thing to you guys. So yeah, let's see the, let's see the problem. It says that uh, we are having an integer array nums, which is sorted in ascending order. For sure, to apply binary search, it must be sorted in some order. I'm not saying the array itself, but on what thing you want to apply the binary search, it should be sorted in the ascending order or descending order, or it should be in the non-increasing or decreasing, like this orders, but it should be in, a, in an order. And we are also having an integer called as target cool. Uh, write a function to search this target in nums, which is sorted in the ascending order. If the target is not existing in that, then we have to return minus one, which means that if the index is not there such that I have that value over there, so I have to return minus one. So we have to, for sure, if we want to just search for a number in an array, we can just move from left to right and just see if I found a number or not. It's in O of N, I can still find it, but it's specifically saying find it O of log N. That's the name of the problem, binary search. So yeah, as I said, other people will say you not to mug up the formatting and all that stuff, but just have a look at your self by this. Okay, what is in this algo? And what is this formatting like? If it suits you, good. If you want to take it on ego and not use it it's up to you but i'll just show you guys what helped me to actually be fast at binary search <laughs> firstly we have an l we have an r l is nothing but smallest value of your answer which can be possible just think okay what is my answer range how big like from where my answer will start to where my answer will end r will be your largest possible value of your answer which can be Okay, now you have got your L, your R. Then your actual binary search start. While L is less than R, I am not writing L is less than equal to R. I am not writing L is equal to R. I am not writing L is not equal to R. I am just writing L is less than R. Just mark this condition. Now you can find the mid. Although people will say to find the mid as L plus R minus L by 2. You can also find it as L plus R by 2. If, 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 if and if. L and R are small. If both are big, so it's recommended that it is not overflown. So you write it as L plus R minus L by 2. It's just to find a mid between L and R. It is exactly the same as L plus R by 2. It's just that we use this thing so that overflow condition is not there. Cool. Now comes the main condition. It is the simple condition. If your if in this condition, if the your condition now you have to modify this condition according to what I will show. But if it is valid, then your R, your R, which means the right point, it should come to mid. Else your left point should come to mid plus one. It's exactly the same. It will happen exactly the same. R will come to mid. L will come to mid plus one, not mid. R will not, R will not come to mid minus one. Although, although you can write a code where R can come to mid minus one, R can come to mid, R can come to any place, but just stick to one thing and it will help you forever. Now, we have these two condition. Now, according to this, according to this R equal to mid, you have to modify your is valid. Or if, if you sure know, okay, is valid is, 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 valid is something you know, then you have to interchange this. L will come in if condition, R will come in else condition. But if you have like written down this R condition and L condition, then you have to put your is valid according to the 
R equal to mid condition. Now it says, okay, R should come to mid, which means that our problem. Now you have to, you have to, you have to put your brain to actually find this if condition. Now it says that, okay, your R has come to mid, which means that R value, because it was increasing. So R value has come to a smaller place, which means that it should have been bigger, which means my nums of mid, it should have been more than my target value. It was bigger. So I am just bringing into smaller. I know I am bringing my R to mid. I know I'm bringing my higher value to smaller value, which means my higher value, which means my nums of R, it should have been more than what is required and required was the target thing so i can just say that okay my nums of mid is more than my target now as it is also valid it, it is also valid for this problem but still as you know if it would have been something like something like this that if you had some repeated elements and you wanted to find the first sequence of the elements then you would have put equal to because with this equal to if my live mid if my target is 5 if my mid has also landed at this particular 5 then still I would have moved it back because still there is a chance of moving back because I want to find the leftmost position of 5 thus if I apply r equal to also then again it will try even if the value has matched 5 is equal to 5 but still it will try to move back so that it can find the leftmost position of 5 thus Although in this question, we can use both of these conditions, but still it's a more generalized, which will help you in other problems also. But still, if condition is not in the code itself, if condition is what you have to for every problem, think it is not, I'm saying that if condition is valid, but it is for every problem you have to think what the if condition you have to put here, rest, everything will remain same. And again, as I said, if you have if you already know the if condition, then you have to maybe swap your R equal to mid. Maybe it go to else condition and N equal to mid because it goes to above condition. So yeah, it is the standard thing which you have to make sure that try writing the code like this and it will see. I'm not saying try, try, try writing the code like this exactly only, but just make a habit of writing the code one way of binary search. Everyone has a, has a way. You find your own way. It is my way how I write most of the codes, 99% of the codes. On the last two three years you will see me i write exactly like this now um lastly as i said it will work on 99 percent of the problems just one percent you just have to dry run i'm not saying it will not work you just have to dry run and modify condition a little bit you're that condition now let's dry run on this code example so we have this nums we have this target i have my lnr lnr as i said it can be the possible range of my answer my answer is nothing but i need to point to an index of this particular array so it is for sure bounded to be inside this array only so i just put it l equal to zero h equal to five which means lower index and higher index now my l is pointing here my r is pointing here i found my mid which is l plus l plus h by two L plus H minus L by 2 will also give me the same result as this. I'll get a 2. I pointed my 2. I check the mid. My mid, uh, it is 3. My target was 9. My if condition was saying that I need to move my mid if it is greater than my 9. But it is not. So I need to move my L. So I moved my L to mid plus 1. Remember, mid plus 1. So I have this 3. Now, I have got this L equal to 3, H equal to 5. I again find my mid, which is 4. I have got my 9 is equal to 9. Yeah, lie. I found it. My R will become, as I said, I found. Although I can return in this problem, if I found a number, I can return from itself only. As, as soon as I find, I can re return it. But for our algorithm, what we have thought, which can work everywhere in this, we just move on until my L is less than R. And here it is, L is less than R, so we'll just move on going. Cool. Although I have found it, but still I, I'll just move on going because we have a generalized code with us. Now, uh, R equal to four, then what will happen is your H, which means your R will become equal to four. Now, 
your L is pointing at 3, R is pointing at 4, L is pointing at 3, R is pointing at 4, mid will point at 3, L plus R by 2, your you will check, 5 is more than equal to 9, mm -hmm. which means your L needs to move, your L will move, it will come to 4, L is equal to I H, which means L is equal to R, which means that, okay, I'll just break my loop because my loop would go to, because my loop has a condition that, okay, why L is less than R, L has L become equal to R, so it will just break out and ultimately it was pointing both. See, whenever R loop, although you can dry on multiple cases, but whenever R loop will break out, it will always and always break out in, on the condition L is equals to R, which means ultimately, finally, R L and R both would be pointing to a value which could be the possible answer. So in this case, it is pointing to 9. Although 9 is present here, so I can just return say, okay, I have found a 9 and I can just lastly ch check if my nums of L is equal to target, I have found a value. If it is not, I have not found a value. So, R, L and R will point to a location which it thinks is the possible answer. Is the possible answer. It will not say, okay, the answer should be there. It, it, it will say, okay, it can be the possible answer. The only possible answer in this problem. So, ultimately, I have to also check if actually it is present or not. Because in the problem, it was saying, if it is not present, then it is minus one. So, Although it is present, so I'll just return that particular value, which is 9, which means the index of this, which is 4. Next example, which is in the problem, uh, same, L equal to 0, R equal to 5, uh, the mid will point to 2, I, I, I looked at 2, uh, where it is 3, more than 2, so I have to move my L, sorry, I have to move my R, my R will actually la 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 like land to 2, L is 0, R is 2, what will happen is, L is 0, R is 2, mid will again become a 1, 0 is not more than 1, so L again needs to move, now L will move to 2, R is actually moving to 2, I have found, my if condition, my, my, my while condition will break out because my L and R become equal, now my L and R both are pointing to index 2 which is the value 3, my target was 2, although my binary search tried to point to the best possible location, but sorry, 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 it was not present at all. Thus, as I checked in the last also, I'll just check, okay, if my value at L, and as I said, L and R both are same, when it will break out, L and R both will point to the possible location in this entire array, and both will point to the same location. So, I'll just check if my nums of L is not equal to target if it is not oh this is not equal to i need to return minus one and that's the entire problem in which firstly i have this lnr as i showed then i initialize my while condition by while l is less than r then i found my mid l plus r minus l by 2 or it is l plus r by 2 also then i have this condition where if condition here is the valid condition then you have this l equal, l equal to mid or r equal to mid and if it is not valid then l equals to mid plus one now, ultimately, if it is not found at this particular value, and L is equals to R here, so you have you can check anything. You can just ultimately, if it's not like if it is not found, return minus one. If it is found, then return the value of L. I hope that you guys understood it and all the codes and the complexity as for sure. It's over login because at every point of time you are just breaking into half. You are doing a mid ride. You check a mid and then you just break. You just bring your range to next half, which means L will become either mid plus 1 to R or your range will become L to mid. That's the reason uh, every point will range will become to half, 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 half. Remember something? O of log N by 2, where your iterations will become half N log N base 2. Thus, its complexity is O of log n and space as we are not using any other thing other than L, R and mid. These are the three variables which will take O of 1 space. And all the codes are below uh, C++, Java and Python. And I hope that you guys got it. The video got long just because to show you guys the standard approach of binary search. Whenever in next time you find a problem of binary search, just try or if. I'll, we, I'll, I'll post a video, I'll just try to uh, relate it with this thing because I, I entirely use this thing if you have seen this. So I hope that you guys liked it. If you have the like button and see you in the next time. Goodbye, take care.